Right now is the perfect time to become a data scientist, which means there's a ton of online certifications out there offering to teach you how to become one. But I can't go through every certification out there, but what I can do is give you an extremely detailed walkthrough of DataCamp's data scientist certification so that you know exactly what's in it and if it's right for you before you part with any money. Because DataCamp have reached out to sponsor this video and to offer you 25% off through the link down below if you do decide it is for you. So why is right now the perfect time to become a data scientist? Well, our world right Right now reminds me a lot of the gold rush in the 1800s where everybody heard there was gold in the mountains and they rushed there hoping to unearth a fortune for themselves. But the people who actually made the most money weren't those who were digging for gold in the mountains, it was the people selling the shovels. And the AI revolution means that more and more companies are realizing the value that data scientists can bring to them. So our skill set is in demand. If you want to skip straight to the course review, go to this timestamp, but I think it's worth discussing why you should consider going self-taught. The first reason obviously is price. We've got a cost of living crisis right now so you might not have a few thousand lying around to go to university. So at just 25 bucks this certification represents great value. Oh and by the way you can get 25% off that in the link below. And a lot of online resources charge more than that just for the certification alone but DataCamp's price also includes their entire library of learning so I think you do get bang for your buck. The other factor is time. Listen, I went to university to do my master's in data science after trying to go self-taught, so I'm not going to sit here and trash the education system. But what I will say is that the speed at which technology changes, especially with AI in the mix now, means that doing a three or four year degree is not the best idea because the syllabus is fixed over a longer time horizon that you don't get the time to quickly adapt to what skills are needed right now. But going self-taught with a data camp or using YouTube means that whenever a new skill is needed, you can quickly hop on and learn it really quickly and ahead of the curve. And with DataCamp, that new skill is uploaded to their learning library, so it's not like you have to pay extra for the new material. And speaking of time, what I like about the certification is that there's a 30-day time limit from when you enroll to take the exam. And what that external time pressure does is force you to learn the important things and not get stuck in a loop of never-ending learning, basically, because you simply won't have the time to do that. In this previous video, I discussed how a problem I had with DataCamp when I was trying to learn is that you could technically speed run your way through all the courses if you just wanted to get your certificate as quick as possible just so you could put on LinkedIn that you had this new qualification. But with this new certification program you'd be doing that at your own peril because at the end of everything you have to take three exams which means if you haven't actually learned anything you're gonna be exposed. <laughs> so I feel like data camp is beginning to deal with that problem. But the big question is will employers actually care about your certification? It's hard to make apples to apples comparisons with somebody who has a degree and it's true that if you have the exact same skill set but one person has a four-year degree and you only have a certification the employer might lean towards the person with a degree but first of all this person's stuck in university for four years but what we also aren't considering is that if a self-taught person then layers their skills and does a bunch of good projects on top of that they could begin to make up that gap between them and the degree person and save a few thousand dollars in the process and the good thing is unlike certain other qualifications online <laughs> <laughs> you to me. Data Camp is actually recognized in the industry and was actually ranked number one by Forbes as, you know, the best data qualification in the world, which I think is pretty cool. There are four key ways I think this program actually sets itself apart. How you learn, how you prepare, what's in the exam and what happens after the exam. Data Camp try to meet you where you are and then elevate you to the level of data scientist you want to become. So there's two levels of certification to choose from. The first is the data science associate, which is a little less intense. For example, if you are a data analyst who wants to slowly transition into being a data scientist, this might be ideal because it's targeted at getting you to an entry level level. But if you're fully committed to becoming a data scientist, honestly, just go for the full on data scientist certification, which is a lot more intense. But I think the skill set you gain from this one in particular will prepare you for the real world a lot more because it's targeted at getting you to a junior data scientist level. You also have the option to pick from R or Python, just pick Python. Like I said, they want to meet you where you are and this extends to your preparation for the exam. So a lot of us, we do different tutorials on YouTube or some course, for example, meaning we have little bits of knowledge about certain topics, but we also have massive gaps in our fundamentals. That's where the personalized learning plan comes in. You can take some mini assessments in the different areas where you need knowledge to pass the exams and DataCamp will see where the gaps in your skill set are. So then it will tailor the modules in your learning plan to allow you to brush up where you're weakest and not waste any time on things that you're 
already know. You might be thinking, hold on, what if I don't know anything? And that's the position I was in when I started using DataCamp four years ago. And all you have to do is instead of doing a personalized learning plan, just enroll in a track because that will assume that you know nothing and it will take you from the ground level all the way to completion. And it even throws some SQL in there to make sure that you're a well-rounded data scientist. Once you've acquired the knowledge you need to pass the exam, it's preparation time. And they do do a good job of making sure that you're well prepared for the exam. Of course, you have all the mini exercises, which are a part of the learning portion of the platform, but you're also given a clear requirement section on what to expect in each of the exams, as well as a pretty strict route rubric so you know the exact criteria of how you'll be scored and it kind of reminds me of prepping for GCSEs a little bit. But to top it all off, you've got a sample practical exam which you can download and practice on so that you're not just a fish out of water when you do go into the actual exam. But what's the structure of the exams actually like? You're gonna have three exams. The first two are timed exams and are more concerned with your technical ability and Data Science 101 is the slightly easier version. Then you progress to Data Science 201, obviously, which will be slightly harder. And again, you're given a clear example of what's going to be inside the exam. But exam number three, this is where things get interesting, boys and girls, because here you'll get a taste of what it's like to be a data scientist in the real world because it's a practical exam. It won't just be a test of your coding skills because on top of that, it will also test your logic and your ability to apply all of that to a real world business problem. And the best part is after solving that business problem, you're also going to be graded on how effectively you can tell the story of what the problem was and what the solution is all through data. And you're even gonna have to present that to a real person, not some automated marking machine. Honestly, it's the closest approximation to being an actual data scientist that you can get. Congratulations, you've passed your exam. So of course, you're gonna share that on LinkedIn, put it on your CV, all of that sort of stuff. But DataCamp has gone a step further. They also have their newly launched portfolio section, which can act as your digital CV. Not only can you put your certification there, but if you are a continuous learner picking up new skills, you can add the specific modules that you've completed into this section right here. So that's your sneak peek. Let me know what do you think of this certification? Is there anything you think DataCamp should look to improve before you'd be happy taking this? And if you decide that this is the one for you, don't forget 25% off through the link in the description.